Back in Portsmouth, the council is at the end of its tether. They've spent £25,000 this year trying to get people to clean up after their dogs. Now they're taking a gamble and trying something different. They're conducting a psychological experiment. It's been shown to work on students who don't clear their plates. But will it work on dog owners who refuse to clear up their mess? The experiment aims to stop antisocial behaviour by making people feel watched. It involves placing large posters in Portsmouth's worst dog mess spots. Posters of huge staring eyes that glow in the dark. In the dead of night, when they're taking their dog out for a walk, that is the time where a lot of people may just leave it uncollected. But will a simple photograph of eyes actually make dog owners pick up? In the poster target zones, council officers first cleaned up the mess. Then they kept a record of new dog deposits left over four weeks. Not the nicest job in the world. It's an unusual thing for any officer of the authority to have to do, to go around counting piles of dog feces, but you know, if it leads to uh, an end to this horrible blight on our city, then we will do pretty much anything to try and see an end to uh, dog fouling issues. Finally, after weeks of cleaning and counting dog's mess, Portsmouth had its result. I must admit I was sceptical, but the results are staggering. Across the eight sites, we found that on some sites there was an up to 75% reduction in the numbers of piles of dog fouling found after the signs were erected. The eyes on the posters really do stand out, they really do seem to work, and we feel it's a really great design and a very successful experiment all round. A remarkable outcome. Who would have thought that something this cheap and simple could do the trick? And Portsmouth is just one of 17 authorities who have taken part in the experiment across Britain. <laughs>